Okay, so we have this problem of a projectile that is being fired with an initial speed of V naught at 49 meters per second from a level ground at a target on the ground a distance r equals 33 meters away so find a projection of two projection angles so let me let me draw this real quick so we have our little we have our little uh our, i'm just going to draw with a little slingshot here so we have a little slingshot we have a little slingshot we have a little slingshot maybe maybe angry birds i don't know so this could be angry birds so this this guy this guy wants to hit a pig pig at like right here so so here's a oh that looks like a bunny so so a little pig okay okay that looks like a cat now but you got the you, you get the point so here here's a pig so um so he he wants to so this guy wants to hit this pig and and he says he says this is this is uh this is uh this is this is 33 meters away so 33 meters away 33 meters 33 meters okay and and um just to clarify the red the the numbers in red will be different for you so just mind be mindful of that while you watch it so be sure to to give the right um use use the right numbers okay so let's just assume that that this this like the launch angle and the pig is on the same same level plane okay so this would be from here to here would be zero degrees okay so so there's two two angles that this can this can be done with ang angle number one is like this like a really narrow angle and angle number two is like it's like this and then it goes up like that it comes down like this okay so th th those are the two angles and and we want we want to find the angles for each of them and and we are given that that the speed that the 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 angry bird leaves the little slingshot is 49 meters per second so this guy leaves so th this guy leaves this way or this way these are both v naughts so v naught so v naught equals 49 meters per second all right so so how, how how would we solve this problem well well we have our we have our little we have our little okay before before we we get to anything else let's let's go to go to go to our side here a little bit and let's review our review our vectors so if we if we have a vector if we have a vector that's that's like this with with theta and we have let's say this this is this is r the the r component of x so the x component of r that's what i meant w will be r times this is the magnitude r is a magnitude the magnitude times the cosine cosine of theta and r y R y so the y component will be r times sine sine of theta, where r is our um, our magnitude of the vector. Okay, so since we know w with that knowledge, let's go back here and see if we can do that for the same thing uh, for for 49 meters per second. So since Okay, so let's let's calculate its its x component, or not calculate, but let's let's represent it in a, in an equation. So its x component, x component, would be forty nine, which is the magnitude of of this vector, times the cosine, cosine of the theta, which is the angle, so which is. So we're just we're just gonna look at this 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 low 
low vac the the yeah the low angle first. So this is gonna be theta. Theta. Okay, can't really see that, but that's theta. So cosine theta. Cosine theta. Okay. All right. Now, what about the y component? The y component will be 49. 49. So upward. So sine. Sine. 49 is the the magnitude. So sine theta. Be sine theta. Okay. So. So this is, so what do, what do these mean? Well, this the the Rx means that when it leaves the slingshot, it's moving horizontally. This horizontally. Okay, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this white color here. So it's moving horizontally at 49 cosine theta meters per second. And what this this uh, uh, y component means is when it leaves the slingshot, it's moving vertically upward at 49 sine um, theta meters per second. So so let's try to put that into an equation here. Okay, so so we know we know that we know that um, change in x is equal to is equal to V naught times T. And since this is the initial velocity we can substitute this in for v naught. So, oh, and and we have uh, we have our change in magnitude here. So we can substitute that in for change in magnitude. So we're we're just gonna say we're just gonna say we're, we're gonna we're gonna come down here. So 33 is equal to v naught, which is 49 49 cosine of theta cosine of theta times time times time. There we go. Okay, now what about the y? Well, let's think about this a little bit. So, where does it end up? Like, in terms of y, where where does the the angry bird end up when it when it hits the the pig? Well, let's see. It goes it starts it starts at 0. If you like let let's think about let's think about this as a the xy coordinate and this is 0, so 0 so zero is this way, and and zero is this way. So so this is zero right here. So if we if we if if y is zero to begin with, and it it drops here, y would still be zero. So 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 the so um the change in y would be zero. So we would just say we would just say zero is equal to oh oh before we do that let, let, let let's look at Let's look at our change in y um, equation first. So change in y equation is uh, v naught t minus one half a t squared. Oh, and if you're wondering why I, I excluded the one half a t squared on um, horizontal one, it's because it's because it's constant. It's always it's always going to be going right at 49 cosine theta meters per second, but 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 in, ver in vertically it would accelerate downward 9.8 meters per second per second. That's why you have to include that. So okay, so we're going to say so since change in y is zero, so we're just going to put velocity naught, which is the initial velocity, which is the component. Of here, which is uh, 49 sine theta. So 40. I'm gonna write that here. So 49 sine theta theta times time times time times time. Well, actually, let me move this over here so it's it's next to each other. Okay times time plus or minus sorry well this should be plus but yeah so so plus one half one half negative nine point eight which is the acceleration times time squared times time squared 